Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be building the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Pro Drum Smoker. Now, if you hate reading instructions and you'd rather watch a video to build something, I'm gonna take you along for the journey. We're gonna build this step by step, so let's get stuck into it. Are you ready? Yep. All right, so we're gonna start by opening up the box and just getting all the components out so we know exactly where to start. So we'll get started. Right, looks like I'm not gonna get much help from old mate. But that's all right, we'll get started. Yeah. All right, so first things first, we're gonna get six of these bolts, six of these washers, and we're gonna connect the two halves together. So this little notch here needs to go with the front of the smoker. So we'll put all of our bolts in now. I help. Yeah, you can help. All right, now they're all in, you can tighten them right up. You wanna just leave them loose in case you've got to rotate the drum slightly. So we'll go ahead and make sure all of them bolts are nice and tight. All right, next we're gonna put the wheel brackets on. As you can see, if it's upside down, wheel brackets are on the right. So we'll get these all screwed in with some more of the bolts that are supplied. Don't need the washers for this part. You just wanna make sure the outsides of the brackets are on the outside of the drum. Next, we can put the two legs on, pretty straightforward. Just go on the opposite side. You can tighten these all the way up. I've left the wheel brackets a little bit loose just in case we've gotta wiggle them around slightly when we're feeding the rod through later. All right. And next, we're gonna put the intake vent on. You want it coming out the side, the legs are on, and also on this angle where it's coming towards the front leg. So we'll get this on. All right, so now we're gonna put the wheels on. So we'll get our back wheel. Push the rod through. I'm gonna start from the back. I'll push that through. Then we are gonna feed it through. Take that wheel off before it falls off. Feed it through the other end. And then on this end, put our other wheel on. The big single washer in the pack. Push that on and then our locking pin. All right, so we're all done with the underside. Double check all your bolts, and make sure they're nice and tight. Then it's time to flip it over. Make sure you do this very safely. It's recommended that two people do this because it is a heavy unit. So we'll move forward, flip this over and get started on the other half. All right, so now we're all flipped over. We can get our temperature gauge on. So it's got a second nut on there. So once you've got it tightened, you can get it in, get it straight and then use the rear nut to tighten it completely so it doesn't move around. So that's nice and straight. All right, next step, I'm gonna put our top vent on. So you wanna open the lid, feed that through, and then we've got some nuts and bolts to thread through the holes here. Then next up is the handle. Make sure you've got it on the right way. Same again, nuts and bolts. All right, next we've got our cooking grate brackets. Make sure that the flat side is at the top. So we can go ahead, more nuts and bolts to secure these in. All right, now we're gonna put the top of our intake vent on. See, so it's already got the bolts in there. So you just want to slide this on. And before you completely tighten up your bolts, just want to make sure 
slide it all the way down because these bolts are on sliders. And this is probably the only part you'll need a spanner or a socket for. Is that a small one? Yeah, do you want to tighten this up? Yeah. Can you reach? Yeah. Right, almost at the end of it. All that's left to do now is to put our side handle on the left side. And then it's pretty simple. And it's just the same with the side shelf on the other side. Right, and then if you've got a team logo or something you want to put on the back, they've also got this plaque that just goes in these brackets like that. And then same thing again, just washer and bolt screws up into the thread of the bracket. Kayla, what are you cooking? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich, all right. It's time for smoke, oh Caleb. Yeah. All right, so in first goes our base, our ash pan, and our charcoal basket sits on top of that. And then our heat deflector. Our cooking grate and then you've got the hook brackets and the hooks if you do want to hang some stuff so that's pretty much the drum smoker built now right so as you can see there's a pretty noticeable size difference between the bronco pro and the standard bronco i hope this video has helped you if you were looking for an instructional build video for the bronco pretty much the same rules apply to the standard one if you did pick one of them up as well in our next video, we're gonna do a comparison between the two drums. We're gonna have a look at the size difference a bit more in depth. So stay tuned for that video. I'll put a link in the description once it's out. So apart from that, I better go find my offsider who's off having smoko. So I'm gonna go find him. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.